What's going on, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome to a rainy floor today. I, I have no idea. I am in shorts and flip flops, though, so it's not cold. So, today we're going to go ahead and take a break from the 1960 Volkswagen Baja Franken Beetle build. And we've got an engine to tear down. So, let me explain this. This is built by someone that's very reputable. Uh, we don't say names. There's nothing wrong with it. This engine actually ran, ran well. It was slightly used, I don't know, 500 miles or so. Not a whole lot of miles. Um, the gentleman that bought it apparently wanted something different. So there's nothing wrong with this engine. It's a great runner. My buddy Rob built a 1970 bay window bus. Needs an engine. For the price, and compared to the way that parts are these days, availability of parts, this was definitely the cheapest option and it's a good runner however this was not built for a bus this is built for a bug so this is a 1835 cc it's got supposedly larger valves in the heads uh, it's got a 110 cam in it the issue is compression's a bit high static compression on this is actually right around nine to one we were told so what we're going to do is strip the top end down we want to strip it down, pull the valve covers, valve train, pull the heads, jugs, pistons, and we're actually going to go ahead and check exactly what the compression is on this. We'll walk you through checking the compression by measuring your deck height and also your cylinder cc's. And then we'll go ahead and order the proper barrel shims to get this compression lower so it'll be good in a boss. So without further ado, let's tear this down. that's not bad at all nice and clean definitely VW casting heads or 81s so we'll take a peek at those when we get them off but everything's nice and clean looks like all new valve train and a nice new set of solid rocket shafts so we will go ahead and pull the head and go from there There we go. Definitely looks like it was running a little fat, but that's all right. Definitely glued in the pushrod tubes, which that's all fine and dandy to each their own. But, um, oh, cool things. The issue I'm seeing though, we actually had a little bit of blow by oil leakage of three, four side. So you can see the Oil seeping down. Well, that's no big deal. We'll lap the jugs in again just to make sure. Other than that, I mean, it looks pretty cleanish. Just a little bit of carbon, carbon buildup, but nothing horrible. All right, let's uh, move along. All right, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, but there's basically two ways to check your deck height, right? You've got, put your plate on there. I've measured it at 460 thousandths, so almost half an inch, but almost isn't good enough. You need to know exact. If you notice, we got it top dead center. We got a little bitty gap there. Flywheel lock on to lock it exactly. So I sat there and rotated the engine back and forth till it was exactly top dead center. You saw the piston move back and forth just a tad. Now the first way you can do it is with some feeler gauges, right? So you add up whatever you need till you get it exactly where you need it to be. And you want it snug. I measured a 30 thousandths and a 5 thousandths, so that'd be 35 thousandths. Now I've got this one, my dial indicator, measured right at 460 thousandths. Now if I go ahead and open that up, there you go. Oh, nope. 
that's right at about 35 thousandths. So this has 35 thousandths of deck height. All right, 35 thousandths deck height. Remember that. And then we'll be able to figure out the static compression ratio. There is no way I can do this one handed. So I try to get the head as level as possible back and forth. We got it wiped out. We got our disc, put that in a cylinder. We've got our syringe filled to exactly 60 milliliters, which is cc's. So what we're gonna do is carefully, slowly, make sure your spark plug is still in, because if not, you have a hole. What we'll do then, start filling this up until we get all the air out. All right, so got some air pockets in there. A little bit more to go. And I put way too much. <laughs> I was not paying attention. So, here's the fun part. Now we get to start over. Take your head, dump the water out. All right, got it filled back up. Let's try this again. Oh, watch self. All right, there we go. It's all worked out. And we read how many cc's we have left. Can you read that? That line is exactly on 10. That means we have a 50 cc chamber and a 0 .35, 0 .035 deck height. Let's get that figured out real quick. Same, right at 10. All right, let's get that sorted out. So not a sponsor, but I like CB Performance Engine Calculator. We go straight there, then from there it's simple. Engine bore, we have 92 millimeters. Engine stroke, is 92, nope, sorry, 69, hello, what am I thinking of? You can change it from millimeters to inches. Deck height in inches, we got 0 0.035. Combustion chamber cc's, we measure that in at 50 cc's. And then from there you can check Compression, deck height, cc's, you can solve for different variables. I like to go for compression, and there we go. Whoops. We're looking 1835cc at 9.2 to 1. Okay, so how do we get that 9.2 to 1 down? It's easier to change deck height than it is to change your cc chamber on your head. So let's just say, oh, uh, let's change it to 60 thousands from 35 what's that do 8.6 it's not bad but what if we put 80 thousands where are we at 8.2 so that's really the easiest way that's how I prefer to do things and I think on this one we'll probably set it up for 60 thousands so that'd be right around 8.6 to 1 at least that's what my initial thought is. Might go a little lower. You know what? Let's try 90 thousandths. Where are we at on 90 thousandths? Eight to one. Hmm. 75 thousandths. 8.3. Well, let's try the 90 thousandths. Okay, so eight to one. So here we go. We got 0.090, right? Minus our 0 0.035, that's already there. We got a 55 thousand shim. That's kind of custom. So what if we do 50 thousandths, right? Which would put us at 85 thousandths total, 8.1. It's easier, like I said, to change your deck height than it is to change your combustion chamber CCs. So deck height, we would actually put some shims in between the cylinder 
and the case. So in order to do that, what we need to do, remove the jugs, we're gonna leave the pistons on, remove the jugs, we'll clean the surface on the jug and the case real well, and then we'll put our cylinder spacers in between the jug and the case. Silicone on both sides, put it back together, and then we'll be able to double check our deck height and verify it's where we want and set our compression ratio where it needs to be. So now that we have the three four side done, figured out I should say, next we need to tear apart the one two side and verify it's the same. Let's get crack a lacking on that. Well, there we go. We measured the three, four side first, and then we just did the one, two side. We measured the same deck height, so that means we know that the case hasn't been decked incorrectly, which is usually machine work stuff. Uh, sometimes they go and smooth things off more on one side than the other, and sometimes your deck height can be different from one side to another. Go ahead and CC'd this head as well. Came up with our 50 cc's. So we know we have a 9.2 to 1 compression engine. This going into an early bay window bus. Yeah, we need to drop that down, make it run a little cooler. So I decided that with a 40,000 shim between the cylinder and the case, right? Put it there to give us a little bit more deck height, a little bit more lip. By doing that, it actually give us a total of 0.075. So 75 thousandths a deck, which is still plenty. With the 50 cc heads, should put us right at, right about 8.3 to one, which would be good. That W100 cam, I'm sorry, the W110 cam that's in this, keep forgetting this is a 110 cam, calls for 8.25 to 7.25 to one compression. So we're gonna be right on that lower thresh, 8.25, we're gonna be at 8.3, so we'll be, sweet there so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and order some shims and then we'll go ahead and get this thing slapped back together uh, i'm not sure if you guys want to see that or not i'm not going to put this in this video don't really know if there's a need to if you feel that you want to see that let me know and i'll try to remember to record it so drop a comment below let me know what uh let me know what you think about the compression ratio that we are specking for this and also let me know if you want to see how to install the shims so i appreciate you guys being here have a good day be kind to one another and be good